Today we're going to go in the life of an emergency responder. We are here on West Texas and we are with the local fire department and emergency services first response. And we're going to see what we get into today, what calls we might get. We've got our uh, life light helicopter. We've got our uh, kind of battalion chief, our SUV. We've got our ambulance and we have our uh, medium and and large fire trucks right here. This one is the ladder truck for any large structure fires. And this one is our general uh, fire truck right here. So we're just starting off our day. We're gonna see what we can get into. I'll uh, run inside here and get clocked in and uh, we will see just where dispatch will end up sending us here today. Dispatch to EMS services. We've got a 911 call of an unresponsive individual at the local Dollar General. Police are on scene requesting EMS at this time. Copy that. All right, well, we've got our first call. They're asking for EMS out at the local Dollar General. So we're gonna fire up the ambulance here. It is all good to go. We're gonna turn on the lights, roll on out of here nice and easy. There we go. All right, siren on, and we're rolling. This isn't too far down the road. We're just right here in town, so we're gonna be able to have a quick response to this one. Make sure there are no cars coming through here. All right, so we're headed to the local Dollar General. It's gonna be just right up here at our next right. We're gonna go off into that kind of mall complex area. We've got a call of an unresponsive individual. Sounds like somebody collapsed in the store. Nobody's coming. We're going to hang a right right here. Hopefully that guy stays. Yes, he will. We're going to cut in through the exit. There we go. All right. Should be right back here. Let's watch and make sure no one's coming. We're going to cut back off over this way. All right. All right. Siren off. We're here. This is the Dollar General. They said the police are already on scene and it looks like they are. All right. Let's pull ourselves up here nice and easy. Get ourselves in a position where we can pull out. All right, we're here. We're going to open up the, the truck, get everything opened up that we might need. All of our first response equipment. We've got the gurney out and ready to go just in case. All right, everything's prepped. Let me grab this kit right here. And let's go inside and see if we can't help this individual. Officer, where, where are they? All right, we went inside. We uh, checked on the individual. They seem to be fine now. They are refusing transport to the local hospital. So we're packing up everything here. We're gonna put the gurney back in the truck here. Uh, I think we're all gonna, we're gonna be all getting done here. I'll talk to that cop right over there. Yep, you have a good one, bye. All right, we're all we're all loaded up. We're ready to go, ready to get out of here. That cop is going to finish up his paperwork. We're going to roll on out of here. So we're going to turn off the lights, and uh, we'll just nice and calm roll on back to the station. So uh, I think we're going to just get on back over, and uh, we'll see what else we get into. Dispatch to EMS, we have a 911 call of a structure fire just east of town. It appears to be a uh, large garage on fire connected to the home at this time. Fire EMS is requested. All right, we're getting our next call. We've got a structure fire, so we are going to only be able to take one of the vehicles at this time. The rest of the crew will come out and meet us. We're going to take the ladder truck. I feel like that's just going to be the best option for us for this structure fire. So we've got it fired up. We've got the lights on. Turn on the sirens. Let's get on out of here. Here we go. Make sure it's all clear. All right. There we go. Hang a left. It's going to be just east of town here. Nobody's coming. We're clear. All clear. We take our left right here. We've got to cross this big old street right here. Nobody's coming. We're good. All right. We're on our way. All right. All right. Sirens off. We're here. We're going to have to find a way to pull on in. Looks like the driveway is nice and big. All right. Yeah, that's a big old fire. Let's get ourselves situated in a position to be able to neutralize this fire with the ladder truck. All right. I think we've got pretty stable footing right there. That'll do. Let's go ahead and start to lift this thing up, shall we? We've got our man in the cab. We're bringing it on up. There we go. Let's see if we can't tilt this back down get it aimed here all right we've got another fire truck in route the ladder truck is there taking care of some stuff we're responding now with the other firefighting truck here um i think they should be making some progress with that ladder truck but we are just about there we're gonna get the hoses all unloaded and ready to go here and uh, we're gonna start attacking this thing on the ground all right sirens off we're here we're gonna get this thing parked right here. That'll do. All right, as you guys can see, the fire truck is trying to put out that fire. They were trying to shoot it towards down to the top there. 
We're going to get our attack hose. We're going to start spraying this thing down, try and get this these flames under control here. This thing is really burning up. All right, we're making progress. We've got a bit of it put out here. We're pushing it more towards the garage, separating it from the house pretty well. We're going to start tacking over here a little bit. All right, we're just about done here. We're on the last little stretch right here on the back side. We've almost got all the flames out. I'm just glad that nobody is inside the building. It sounds like they all got out. I'm going to assume that this fire started from a vehicle or something in the garage there. All right, we've got the fire out. We've got the ladder truck put back down. We're going to remove the uh, support legs here, get those hydraulics in. And I think we've got this thing all under control now. We're going to go ahead and start to return one of these units here. Uh, the other one's going to stay put and they're going to do a little investigation. They're going to continue to do spray down around the area to try and prevent anything, any of the, you know, smoldering pieces of the garage or what was inside of the garage from re-sparking the fire. We're going to get this truck on out of here. All right, it sounds like we've got another call. We're going to hop in the ambulance. It's going to be the second time we have to use this today. We got the lights on, truck's ready to go, everything's ready to go. Let's get on out of here. And let's get on over to the call. It's gonna be just south of town here. Let's make sure nobody's coming, we're good, we're all clear. Anybody coming over here, looking clear. All right, let's whip on down that direction. We've got a report of a semi struck a car as it crossed through the intersection. Um, I don't know the extent of how bad this accident is, but they are requesting medical services at this time. So we're gonna get on down there. Sounds like police are already on scene managing the situation. All right, I think I'm, I'm getting eyes up here. I see a semi, I see some flashing lights. I see, uh, oh, looks like an officer was also struck by traffic. Man, somebody doesn't pay attention. Oh boy. Okay, so we're gonna need to take care of that officer possibly too, unless they were out of their vehicle. It looks like we're here on scene. Let's go right on around. The truck is sitting in the ditch opposite lanes. I don't see the car. I see another unit here. Oh, there's the car. There's the car. Okay, right here is where we're going to go. Sir, can you hear me? Uh, all right. So, we're, sir, we're going to try and get this door open. We're going to try and get you out, okay? How are you feeling? Are you hurt? Yep, we're going to get this door open here. We're going to get you out. We're going to get you on the gurney and take him up to the hospital, okay? All right, we got him on the gurney. They're loading him up in the back there. The officers are going to deal with all the traffic control and getting stuff towed. So we're going to get on over to the hospital here. We've got to get ourselves turned back around. We've got a car coming right there. Nobody's coming from this direction or that direction. There we go. Got her turned around. Let's get on out of here. I'm not going to turn on my siren quite yet. I don't want to blast the officer's ears. All right, there we go. We're going to get on back down to the hospital here. We don't actually have a large functioning hospital in our town, but we do have a small medical facility that we ha use um, if we need to uh, administer medical care as well as uh, transport individuals to a nearby larger town so they can get the appropriate treatment that they require. So we're going to take them up there and uh, the medical staff there will take care of this individual. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Hey, 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 hey. Watch it. Jeez, people don't listen, do they? All right, let's get this guy unloaded and get him taken care of. All right, the individual's been dropped off here at the medical facility. They're taking care of him now. That's going to be another job done here. We're going to back on up out of here, get this ambulance returned back to the station. And uh, man, it's been a busy day out here so far. But let's go and get this thing returned and see what else we can get into today. Attention fire EMS. Life flight is required at the local baseball stadium for one high risk medical incident. All EMS, please respond to the high school baseball stadium. Life flight also respond to the high school baseball stadium. All right, we're hopping up in the helicopter. Let's go ahead and fire it up now. Turn on all of our lights so we can see what we're doing here. Checking rotations. Everything should be good. Everything's looking good. We're going to get up in the air here in just a moment. Our uh, our other units are already on scene. They're taking care of the situation, assessing everyone's condition. So we're going to get up off the, the ground here and on over to our destination. We've got our lights on. Let's go ahead and we turned those off while we're in flight here. So we're not blinding everyone down below us, but we've got to fly this on over to the baseball diamond which is luckily just right up here not too far in town we've got a quick easy response uh that's the football stadium so it's going to be right off up here to our left 
I can see the emergency services already on the ground. Let's go ahead and turn on our lights so they can see us coming in to land here. We're going to start to drop this thing down nice and easy right on into the baseball stadium. There we go. All right. I don't know the situation fully, but we're going to just pick this guy up once we've landed on our landing zone here. We're going to get him transported to a large uh, hospital, large facility. Let's keep dropping this thing down. There we go. Easy, easy, easy. And right here we'll do. We're going to go ahead and set down now. There we go. All right, we're down. We're going to get him loaded up. They're going to handle all of that. We're going to fly him up out of here. All right, the patient's been loaded up. Medical staff is loaded up into the helicopter as well. We're going to try and take off from here. All these lights are going to be blinding a little bit. But let's get off up in the air. There we go. We're clear. Keep climbing it. All right. We're clear, all clear. Let's go ahead and cycle through those lights. Get those landing lights off. But we're going to get this, uh, this person taken care of. They're uh, headed to a well-equipped medical facility. And guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. And uh, make sure you subscribe for more in the future. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Peace. Can you picture you and me in the darkness? Kissing, touching.